Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a deep dive. Oh, this is gonna be good. I know, right? It's about something that's, uh, well, deeply personal, mm -hmm. but also like surprisingly universal, you know? Yes, definitely. We're talking about Gwyneth Paltrow's experience as an empty nester. Oh, wow, interesting. Yeah, it's all based on this recent article about her. Okay. Now, you might be thinking, yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow, like what could I possibly have in common with her? Right. But that's what makes this whole thing so fascinating. How so? Because Why? even someone who seems to have it all, right? Yeah, yeah. The Oscar, the wellness empire, mm -hmm. like the seemingly perfect life. Right. Can still struggle with the same emotional roller coaster yeah. that comes with this major life transition. It's true. It's like a reminder that underneath it all, yeah. we all share those same very human experiences. Exactly. And the article really dives into those raw emotions. Oh, does it? Yeah, Paltrow is really open about the waves of grief and sadness she's writing. Wow. Now that both Apple and Moses are off at college. I see. It's actually kind of refreshing to see that honesty. Yeah. From someone in the spotlight. You know? Totally. And you know what? It actually connects back to something that happened much earlier in her career. Remember how she won an Oscar at the incredibly young age of 26 for Shakespeare and Love? Wait, 26? Yeah. Wow, that's to achieve that level of recognition so early on, that's uh, mind-blowing. It is. I can definitely see how that could lead to some soul-searching. Oh, absolutely. And she did. Really? In the article, okay. Peltrow talks about how that Oscar win actually left her feeling lost. Really? Yeah. Like, she was questioning who she was beyond that achievement. Yeah. There's even a quote where she says, well, now who am I supposed to be? Oh, wow. It's like, even with all that success, there was this sense of emptiness. That's so relatable, though. It's like those moments when you achieve a big goal. Uh-huh. And then you think, okay, now what? Right, exactly. But in Paltrow's case, she found her answer in motherhood. Motherhood. Yeah, it became her focus. Oh, okay. Her new identity. I see. And it all kind of coincided with the birth of your two kids, Apple and Moses. Interesting. Yeah, and this is where Goop enters the picture. Ah, Goop? Yeah, it started as a simple newsletter. Mm. A way for Paltrow to share her personal interests yeah. in health and wellness, mm -hmm. but it quickly grew into something much bigger. Oh, really? It's now a billion dollar empire. Wow. That really reflects her values and her journey as a mother. I see. I have to admit, I'm not super familiar with Goop, Yeah. but it sounds like it tapped into something that resonated with a lot of people. Right. Especially women juggling motherhood yeah. and maybe searching for that same sense of identity yeah. that Peltro was seeking. Absolutely. And that's an important point. You know, Goop, love it or hate it, became an outlet for Paltrow yeah. to explore her interests, build a career on her own terms, mm -hmm. all while being a very present mother. Right. So we see this interesting through line, don't we? Yeah, totally. A major identity shift after the Oscar mm -hmm. leads to motherhood, right? which fuels the creation of this incredibly successful wellness empire. It's remarkable how those different chapters of her life yeah. seem to flow into one another, right. each one shaping who she became. Interesting. But now, yeah. with the kids out of the house, mm -hmm. it sounds like she's at another one of those crossroads. Crossroads? Yeah, yeah, it's like that earlier question, oh. who am I now, Sorry. is resurfacing, <laughs> yeah. but this time it's within the context of being an empty nester. Exactly. For the past 20 years, mother has been her primary role. Right. And now that chapter is closing. Yeah. So naturally, there's going to be a sense of grief. Totally. Of wondering what comes next. For sure. And it's fascinating how she's navigating all of this so publicly. Oh, absolutely. She even jokes in the article, well, half jokes, I guess. Oh, what does she say? About wanting to quit her job, yeah. sell her house, and move. Seriously. Which, honestly, yeah. who hasn't had that fantasy mm -hmm. during a big life change? Right. I mean, it's Gwyneth Paltrow, right? Yeah. But in that moment, she sounds like any other parent facing an empty nest. That's what makes it so compelling, isn't it? Yeah, totally. She's going through what millions of parents experience, uh -huh. but her life is so public, so everything's magnified. Right. This leads to a really interesting question. What's that? Does fame actually make this whole transition easier or harder? Mm, that's a tough one. Do you think? I mean, on the one hand, yeah. she has resources and a platform that most people don't. Right. But on the other hand, Every decision she makes is scrutinized. It's true. It makes me wonder if she feels more pressure 
mm. to have it all figured out, you know. Uh, that's a great point. And it ties back to something she mentioned about struggling with the constant attention early in her career. Oh, right. Remember how acting made it difficult for her to plant roots? Yeah, yeah. It seems like stability and privacy have always been important to her. Uh-huh. Which, you know, yeah. can be hard to come by in Hollywood. Totally. And now with her kids gone. Right. It, it seems like she's at a point where she can redefine yeah. what planting roots means for her. I like that. And speaking of new beginnings, yeah, the article mentions that she's actually filming a new movie, oh, what? Marty Supreme, alongside Timothy Chalamet. Really? So she's not entirely done with acting. Right. And on top of that, what? she's put her L.A. mansion on the market Oh wow! for a whopping $30 million. Seriously. It's like she's literally and maybe even figuratively mm. creating space for something new. So here's where things get really interesting. Okay. We're left with this open question. What's that? What will this new chapter hold for Gwyneth Paltrow? It's almost like a blank canvas, isn't it? Totally. She's got this newfound freedom, uh, both in terms of time and resources, right? to explore different paths. Yeah. It makes me think about how societal expectations play into all of this mm. you know like she's achieved incredible success right in multiple fields mm -hmm. yeah does she feel this pressure to keep pushing to keep reinventing herself that's a great question and it kind of makes me think back to what she said about struggling with all the attention she got early on in her career oh yeah she talked about how being an actress made it hard to like plant roots right exactly she's always valued stability and privacy which you know, it's pretty hard to come by in Hollywood. For sure. But now <laughs> going into this new phase, it feels like she's got a whole new perspective. What do you mean? Maybe it's less about chasing the next big thing, you know, yeah. and yeah. more about like finding fulfillment on her own terms. I love that fulfillment on her own terms. I, me too. Makes you wonder if she'll step further away from the spotlight, you know? Oh, totally. The article did mention she always considered herself a homebody. Right. And now with the kids out of the house, she and her husband, Brad Falchuk, can create a new kind of home life together. Yeah, like a second honeymoon phase. Exactly. But like with all the wisdom and experience of raising kids and having these amazing careers. Totally. And hey, we can't forget, Falchuk just sent his youngest kid off to college too, so he's going through his own version of this. Oh, that's right. They're both navigating this new territory together. Yeah, imagine that, having that shared experience. Mm -hmm. Must be a pretty strong bond. Totally. They can support each other, you know, Right. commiserate, celebrate these new chapters unfolding in their lives. Yeah. And it's not just about their relationship. Mm. The article mentions that Paltrow's got this close knit group of mom friends. Oh, that's so important. Right. And they're all going through similar transitions. Yeah. Having that kind of support system, that sense of community, it makes all the difference. I think so, too. It's yeah. like they're all in this together, right? Totally. Sharing their struggles, their wins, all those what am I going to do with my life now moments. <laughs> exactly. And let's be real, who hasn't felt that way at some point? So true. And even though our lives might look, well, a lot different from Gwyneth Paltrow's, yeah. there's something so universal about this whole empty nest experience. Totally. You know, that mix of sadness, pride, yeah, and maybe even a little bit of liberation. So many people can relate to that. It's true. And I think that's part of what makes this deep dive so compelling. What do you mean? It reminds us that even those who seem to have it all still go through the same ups and downs as the rest of us. It's humanizing. I agree. And it makes you think about your own life, mm. your own empty nests, you know, whether they're literal or just metaphorical. Oh, I like that. Maybe it's a relationship that ended, a career shift, mm -hmm. or even just realizing that your kids don't need you in the same way anymore. It's a big shift. It is. So how do we approach those transitions with that same curiosity, that openness, maybe even channel a little Gwyneth and bring in some of that goop-inspired self-care? Uh -huh. I, I love that. What yeah. does planting roots even look like in this new chapter? Oh, that is such a good question. Listeners... What resonated with you the most in this deep dive into Gwyneth Paltrow's empty nest? Yeah. What are your thoughts about navigating these big life changes? Head over to our social media, share your insights, your questions. Your what's next ponderings. We'd love to keep this conversation going. Totally. And while you're thinking about all that, we have one final thought-provoking question for you. Imagine. Mm -hmm. You're Gwyneth Paltrow, successful, resources, kids are all grown up. Mm -hmm. What's next? What unfulfilled dreams would you... Like, 
dust off and finally go after. What adventures are calling your name? It's not even about like actually having her life, you know? Right. The mansion in the movie premieres, mm -hmm. the whole goop empire. Yeah. It's more about that feeling, you know? That sense of possibility. Exactly. Like a brand new chapter is starting. Yeah. Maybe a little scary, right. but also like exhilarating. You know what I mean? Totally. And that's something we all experience at some point, right. whether it's an empty nest or a career change mm -hmm. or, or even just waking up one day and realizing like, yeah, whoa, life's not on autopilot anymore. Too. We suddenly have this chance to ask, yeah, what do I actually want? It can be kind of daunting to face <laughs> that question. For sure. But also incredibly liberating. Oh, absolutely. Like we get to rewrite the script. Yeah. Redefine what success even means mm -hmm. and chase those passions we maybe put on hold. I love that. Me too. So as you go about your day today, yeah. let Gwyneth's story be that little nudge, you know? Okay. Not to copy her choices necessarily, right? but to spark that self-reflection. Mm -hmm. What possibilities are you ready for? Yeah. What would it even look like for you yeah. to plant roots in a way that really nourishes your soul? Such a powerful thought to leave our listeners with. I think so too. We hope this deep dive has you know, yeah. giving you some food for thought, whether you connect with Gwyneth's experience directly or yeah. just find yourself at a similar crossroads. Right. It's been great diving deep with you all. Always a pleasure. And remember, mm -hmm. keep those conversations going. Yeah. Over on our social media channels. Yes. We'd love to hear your insights uh -huh. and what Planet Roots looks like for you. Until next time. Yeah. Keep exploring. Mm -hmm. Keep learning. Yeah. And keep diving deep. <laughs>